The Department of Psychiatry at UCLA is embedded in, in, the, in the old Neuropsychiatric Institute, so it's a huge place. Anything that goes on in psychiatry and neurobiology and behavioral health, you can find it here. One of the things we're really proud of here at UCLA is that we continue to be innovators in the uh, area of autism, uh, diagnosis, and treatment. Wide white foods, the white white stuff. Our expertise is in providing highly individualized treatment for every child that comes into our program. We have an incredible team here. We have a speech therapist, occupational therapist, recreation therapist, cognitive therapist, behavior therapist, a nurse, and a psychiatrist, all who work together to make an incredible interdisciplinary program for children to help them move back into the community and transition well. Our program targets children from as young as 18 months all the way up to seven years of age. Our goal is to push every child forward as fast as possible in a short amount of time to maximize their potential. So we target areas that underlie the core of autism. At UCLA in the Division of Child Psychiatry, um, we have our center, the Nathanson Family Resilience Center. We work with kids affected by serious medical illness, uh, transplants, cancer, um, parents coping with serious medical illness, as well as parents affected by depression and other kinds of mental illness. And our biggest portfolio, the, our largest program, are really working with military and veteran uh, families. In 2008, uh, we were selected by uh, the U.S. military to implement the FOCUS program. We teach families uh, emotional regulation skills, communication skills, problem solving, goal setting, but also how to manage the impact of trauma and loss stressors across the family uh, by the creation of a family narrative. It feels really good to be a part of the UCLA Department of Psychiatry. I feel like we really are making a difference in the lives of military families and children, and we're an, an important part of a big effort across the country to support military families, military service members, and military communities. The Mood Disorders Clinic at UCLA is the oldest clinic of all the outpatient clinics at UCLA. One of our specialty clinics is called the Women's Life Center. The clinic evolved because of the clear need for a place for both patients and practitioners to have as a resource for women who are thinking of getting pregnant or are pregnant or have just delivered and have psychiatric difficulties. The question is, how do you manage those psychiatric difficulties in the context of pregnancy and in the postpartum period? For the Women's Research Program, uh, what we have primarily focused on is depression in women during pregnancy and into the postpartum. And one of the exciting things that we've just recently completed is a study uh, with two other sites in the United States of predictors of developing postpartum depression. We've studied over 300 women, and we have uh, been able to look at demographic and clinical characteristics of their mood during pregnancy and its impact on uh, whether they'll develop a postpartum depression. One of the things that's really extraordinary about UCLA, actually, is not only our resources in terms of people, but also the technologies that we have. One of the exciting things our team has been able to do is to create chemical compounds that allow us to visualize the physical evidence of Alzheimer's disease in living people. Okay, we're about to start the scan. Just sit still and try to keep your body as still as possible. We're able to see the buildup of the abnormal proteins, amyloid plaques and tau tangles, and we can even detect these abnormalities of physical evidence of Alzheimer's decades before people have symptoms. If you put all this together, I think what you have is a unique department of psychiatry, all in one place, 
one campus, one leadership, wonderful faculty, and we've uh, had an incredible success over the last few years.